who's in lockdown and who wants to start being creative. I'm, a, I'm an oil painter, this is my studio, and so I think the first thing any artist, any creative person needs is a space to paint. Now this space, you don't put your stuff away after you. It needs to be your space where you know, all your art stuff stays out and no one names you to put it away. It's very important. It's your sanctuary. In this space, you have your heater on, being warm, you need music and coffee and comfort. These things, because being creative is about being happy, it's being in your element. It's almost like being introverted because you can go out. It's a perfect opportunity. Okay? So, the hardest thing, the next thing, and the hardest thing is being inspired and motivated. It is a problem for every artist, no matter how long you've been doing it, or if you have never done it before. Getting inspired is hard, and it doesn't get easier, okay? And being motivated and getting started is always hard. It's bloody hard, okay? But in lockdown, it could be easier because you're, you're limited, and that is a really good thing. So my tip would be to not overthink things. The idea you've always wanted to get out of your head and onto a canvas or a piece of wood into a painting, do it now. So start to get inspired. You look through family photographs, look through photographs of things, places you've been, and you look online to see what other artists are doing. You rummage through your art materials. There's billions of ways to get inspired, okay? But you have to just pick an idea and then go with it. Okay. To go with an idea, you do compositional drawings. You scribble onto a piece of paper and you work your ideas out roughly. Now, why I scribble is um, fancy words, compositional drawings. I just do scribbles. It's, it's to determine the shape of my canvas. Shape is very important because if you force yourself to paint on a square canvas or a square bit of wood, when your idea in your head is not square, you want long skinny, for example, then you're seriously restricting your creativity. So you, you, you're going to do your compositional drawings and you're going to cut a piece of wood that you find in the garden shed. Or you stretch a canvas if you have that at home, or you do whatever you want, um, to the shape you want. So the next thing is getting something to paint on. You can paint on anything. As I said, you can paint on wood, and you can get plywood. MDF is brilliant, marine ply. Um, bits of aluminium, bits of copper, you can paint on anything, glass. Um, it's a really wonderful time being in lockdown because we, we don't hero worship hierarchy. We don't have to go to the art shop and buy the fanciest stuff because that's all bullshit actually. Okay? Um, you can use house paint. You probably have loads of test pots of house paint in your shit. If you don't have acrylic paint or you're out of a certain colour, use house paint. Yeah. So you got the piece of wood, you cut it to the shape your idea is in, and then you prime it just to prevent your paint from soaking into it. Prime it with house primer. Um, house primer is, is acrylic emulsion. It's very similar to the stuff you buy in an art shop, and it's brilliant. Put two coats of house primer on it, and that'll stop your, your painting disappearing. So then you just you, you work your idea. Uh, in this particular painting, um, for example, is a streetscape. I want, my intention is, I want, it's, a, it's going to be a nighttime painting on Cuba Street. My intention is that I go down to a vanishing point here in Cuba Street, and it's going to be all of the light and the rain on Cuba Street. And I don't want to know anything else that's happening over here. I'm not interested in what's up here, I'm not interested in what's down here, and I'm not interested in what's going over here. Therefore, I think my shape of my canvas is exactly what my idea in my head is. And that removes the fear of failure. I already set off as I intend to continue. So you've got your comfort, you've got your music playing, you're not a perfectionist, you don't give a crap. Um, it's all about the experience. And what you create will be brilliant. So my other key point is when you are painting, allow yourself complete flexibility to change your mind. It's very important. So painting is about responding. It's not about having a fixed idea in your head. It might be, but for me it isn't. Having a fixed idea in your head and then having to live up to that. That's why I don't really like photorealism because we're trying to emulate a photograph. It's easier if you try to just respond to what's inside you and just allow yourself to be free. So you set yourself up for a good start, continue on and be happy. Enjoy your lockdown. See ya.